Welcome to Weld.com. I'd like to do a little test here. I'm curious about something. And what I want to do is compare, or I want to see if I notice anything difference between a, a copper free wire, they've been out for quite a while, uh, a copper coated wire, which predominantly everybody runs, are pretty popular. And then there's a new one out that's kind of a bronze covered wire. I want to run all three of those and see if there's anything different in, in the appearance of the bead or sound, if we see anything really noticeable. So uh, I have some 3 8 uh, beveled coupons. Want to put, throw, put some downhill root passes in to kind of test that short arc stability and see what that bead profile is going to look like. 035 wires, all of them the same, uh, same settings and everything, 18 volts. 225 on the wire feed speed, 75, 25, short arc. Grab my hood and let's get to welding. Mm -hmm. It's a copper free wire. I'm kind of wiggling this back and forth just to work on these edges. And To me, it's smooth, very smooth. It's like a pretty fluid pool. The silicon deposits are not staying in the center. They're kind of random going all over, which is fine. The front side, from my pr perspective, looked like it ran really smooth, really quiet. Wow, that ran super smooth. Uh, not a whole lot of spatter. And to me, almost like I could turn the wire feed speed up some. This is a copper coated wire. <clears throat> this is what I'm used to seeing a lot of, uh, having run this predominantly all my life. Uh, as expected, you know, from my per perspective on the front side of the weld, uh, crispy, uh, little, you know, a little violent, not quite as soft as art. Interesting to note that that silicon is an island is staying right up at the very top of the molten weld pool. It's not breaking up hardly. Uh, staying pretty centered and staying right there all connected. So that's, that's interesting to me. I've not seen this like this before. Now I'm going to change wire and run the, the bronze covered wire. It's a bronze covered wire. Uh, from my perspective, when I was running this, <clears throat> it ran super smooth. And what we're looking at here is the back side of the weld. One thing I'm noticing right off is the pool, the, the, the pool looks to be a bit more fluid and the silicon deposit is kind of broken up and scattered and dispersed and it looks like there's less of the silicon deposit back there on the back side. Uh, weld is tying in nicely on either side. So that's kind of interesting to note. Okay, we ran a test here and it was an interesting one. It was interesting to me because I've never run a bronze covered wire before. I've run um, a little bit, I'm not saying predominantly, I'm, I've run enough of it, but I've run enough of this copper free wire to see it. A lot of the wire that I've run over the years has been the copper coated. That's kind of what we get in our areas. So here's what I noticed and we'll start out over here 
uh, copper free wire. The deposit on copper free to me sounded you know, uh, kind of soft and everything, but the first thing I noticed was, man, I could turn the wire feed speed up compared to these other two. Again, we ran this whole deal at 18 volts, 225 on wire feed speed was 7525, just in the short arc. Ran roots, off camera, I did part of a fill pass and a cap on every one of them, okay? So this, it just, I mean, it was very appealing to run, but the first thing I noticed again was, man, I, I think I could have turned the wire feed speed up uh, and, and quite a bit too, a little bit to get going here uh, and put down a better deposit. I ran the normal copper stuff that I've run a lot of, very common wire, copper coated wire. Different profile, different sound. The tone to me was uh, a little louder, crisper, harder arc, uh, different profile over here. I've left these roots alone. I have not taken any of the silicon off the face and we have footage and B-roll of the backside on every one of them. And then uh, we get over here to the bronze and this was real interesting. I'm standing here looking at it. You'll see it here close up, we'll get some good tight B-roll of it. There's hardly any silicon deposit on the face, and it ran very quiet, very quiet. I did have a little boo-boo in here. You know, I screw up on every video. I changed my technique. When I started out on these roots, I was doing kind of, just kind of walking the cup down the edges, and when I got down past halfway, I changed it where I dragged the wire down in the groove and kind of did a little loop, and I missed and shot the wire through here. You can kind of see it right here, but Anyway, not that big a deal, and it's still fused on the back side. I would venture to say at this point, every one of these bend, every one of them x-ray. I mean, I, I think they're all clean. I think they went in there with nice, good, hot fusion. So it's kind of an operator appeal thing. It, and it was interesting to me just to see and hear what was going on with these di three different wires. All of them, by the way, I don't think we've mentioned this yet, all of them are ER70S6 wires. So, you know, again, bronze. I've never run a, a bronze covered wire. I've spent the majority of my life running copper coated wire. I, I've run, you know, quite a bit, but not saying a lot of the copper free wire. So. You know, which one's the best? I don't know at this point, but you know, again, op, you know, it, it was an interesting uh, test to run through. Again, one of those things we get, to, we get to compare and play with, and hopefully you found this educational. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching Weld.com.